this product is $45. This is a tank of gas. This small pro is a tank of gas for me. Hey guys, Madison Murray here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have been sent a Dior box box from Influencer, and I believe that it is a lip. So we're gonna do a cute little lip review. Um, so yeah, I love getting stuff from Influencer. Um, I've gotten stuff from the past and reviewed it. I think I do have another box up there too, but it's a multiple part video where I'd have to like dye extensions and a bunch of other stuff. But I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm slowly going through all of my boxes. You can actually see like back there, there's no pile of boxes or anything crazy like that. Um, so yeah, I'm getting like stuff done. I'm trying to be more productive. So this is our little paper that came with it. Cute little promo. Now this is the new Rogue Dior Forever Liquid Lacquer. This is the first Dior transfer proof smudge resistant lip color that combines ultra pigmented color with 12 hour wear 12 hour comfort and now 12 hour lacquer like shine i don't mm. okay because i didn't know this was a gonna be a wear test video i don't know if i can do it for 12 hours today but i have an event tomorrow that I can try and see how long it lasts throughout that day. And that's not gonna be like me eating in between it or anything crazy like that. I could put it on at the beginning before like I eat breakfast and go throughout the day and like try to update y'all. But no, not all the time I have this little microphone. So whenever it does go to like, I guess I could bring my microphone. It's gonna look weird in my car, but it's okay. Um, or I can do a voiceover. That's how I'll solve this issue. Um, Okay, so the instructions. You need to shake well before each use. I have never had a lipstick, a lip gloss, anything like that that I've had to shake. Okay, anyway. And also, what if I forget? What happens if you forget? Okay, because it's been sitting in my room for a while, so I'm going to just try it without shaking and see what happens. I'm assuming whatever's in it is, like, probably settles and so you have to shake it to mix it all together so I'm, I'm, i want to know what's in this now anyway so make sure the bottle is upright before opening the product whatever's in here will spill out that is what that's telling me use the unique petal applicator we're calling this petal now i thought this was like doe foot or something okay petal applicator to apply and let it dry for a few seconds and enjoy full transfer proof effect okay so something similar where is it i actually really liked this product and i use it almost every day where is it at there it is Ugh. okay so something similar or at least it sounds similar to this product is the nyx next i say nyx um shine loud in charge like lip gloss or whatever so one side was the lipstick the other was the gloss that's supposed to have made it just stay on longer and made it more transfer proof sorry what i noticed with this it was very oily on the lips and yes it stayed on the lips but sometimes it would run and smudge and you'd have to kind of clean it up um so i'm curious if this is like similar um so i'm curious about that so that was all the information we were given. Thank goodness, because a lot of the times I don't have a whole lot of information on these products. And so I have to look it up. I will have to look up the price because it used to tell me how much these things cost. And every now and then it still does, but this one doesn't have a cost on it. I don't really go towards Dior products because I feel they're a little bit out of my price range. I wanna, I wanna know how much this is, one second. I thought I was being dramatic. This product is $45. This is a tank of gas. This small pro is a tank of gas for me. I want to say to date, this is probably the most expensive lip gloss that I have ever owned. 
$45. This was the Dior website that I saw $45. Okay, so this is why I kind of steer a little bit away from the Dior. Because I do not have $45 for lipstick. Lip gloss, lip lacquer, liquid lip. I don't, I don't know. Haven't opened it yet. But I, I did feel a little sick that this is $45. I'm glad I was sent this because there's, this is, this is one of the things that you will know that when I pay for something, I will tell y'all because I will either be aggravated that I paid money for it, like the NYX brow glue, those $10 for something small and that I don't even really use. Um, that makes me mad. I didn't even pay for this. I'm feeling a little queasy. $45, okay. Okay, let's let's get it. This is, I guess, shade 999. Just so the lacquer, I don't know. I don't know, man, that was, that was wild. I thought I was being dramatic, being like, man, I'm a little broke grad student. I got bills to pay. I don't really go towards them because, you know, I have to pay for rent. Ah. Okay, so you know how they said to shake it? I didn't shake it. It kind of smells like a cologne. Anyway, so this is what it looks like if you don't shake it. So we're going to put it back in there. I'm not putting that on my lips. <laughs> it sounds like a nail polish. Oh my gosh, y'all. What am I fixing to put on my lips? Like, I'm fixing to go take a shower after this video. I thought I would just do a cute little lip thing. See how it felt, how it applicated, all that fun stuff. Um... I don't even know when to stop shaking. I'm nervous now. But now I know it's 12 hour wear. So we're gonna get through this part really fast. I'm gonna go take a shower tomorrow when I get ready for the stuff that I have to do. I'll tell y'all the time that I put it on and we'll just touch up throughout the day and see what's going on. Okay, so I shook it. It still kind of looks the same. It doesn't definitely, it has a smell. Okay, okay, it's all good. This is great. Okay. It's a cute little color though. Okay. We have bottom. Normally putting it on my bottom, I can just roll it around to my top. Okay. And she's on. It dried down really fast. I can feel it. Let me go back over. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It dries down really fast. She's cute. My lips feel weird, to say the least. Like, it feels like there's something on it. It does dry down extremely fast. I am worried that it's, like, gonna be super drying. Because this is why I had to stop wearing red lipstick whenever I was younger, because it would really dry down my lips. And... You know, I would just be having shaped lips, so I had to kind of stop wearing it. I didn't get it on my teeth, so that's good. Okay. So what did it say it was? It was... Transfer proof and smudge resistant. So here's some packaging paper that came with it. Okay, wait. <laughs> Dior's gonna come for me, wait. Do it, like, it's dry now. Maybe I had some like excess. Maybe I didn't let it dry down long enough. <laughs> Cause it did still feel wet. It doesn't say how long it takes for it to fully dry down though. I mean. <laughs> I love that he's kissing paper. Oh my god, no, wait. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's see if smudge resistant. I'm just gonna smear my face. Mm. 
<laughs> I will be honest, it stayed on my lips. But I just think that... Okay, let's try to cover that up so I don't look too crazy. I don't know. It definitely feels sticky now. After doing, like, the transfer and then smearing it. Um, <laughs> Y'all, when I kissed that paper, <laughs> I had a lip print. I don't, I don't know. Like, it feels sticky. So I don't know if it's, like, sticking to the paper. Do you or help me? Like, don't come for me. Just tell me. I might not be using y'all's product right. But, like, it has stayed in the line where I've actually put it when I smeared it down, which does smear. It does stay on the lips. It just feels like it's whatever excess juices that are going on. Because I think, I think it's a lip stain. And that's, that's why I feel like it has the have to shake it well. Don't leave it leaning over. It's going to spill out. I think it's a type of lip stain. Well, y'all. <laughs> I don't know about smudge resistant or transfer proof. Because y'all just watched me do it. I can't, I can't fake it. You know, my chin's red now. And I feel sticky. Like, when it's sticky down like this, it feels almost tacky. And it sticks. And then whatever, I lick my lips and go... I feel like that just makes it tackier again. I don't know. Maybe I'm using this product completely wrong. I do think that it would stay throughout the day. I genuinely think that it would be a long wear um, lipstick. <laughs> My lips are stuck. That's crazy. Anyway. Um, yeah, so I, I tested transfer and smudge. It did, did not pass. Unless there's like a however hour wait time that I needed to wait to do it, but I don't know. Maybe you can't see that. So I'll go to a very clean side. It's still there. Like I can't, I have no hate for Dior or anything like that. It, it's just transferring and I don't know what to tell you. So I wouldn't say it's transfer proof. I really wouldn't say it's smudge proof because it does smudge. It has stayed in the vicinity of my lips though. Like a lip stain. Like my, my lips are going to be stained. I'm just kind of sure of it. But I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to go take a shower. I'm going to come back tomorrow. I'll tell y'all when I start wearing it and then I'll tell you at the end of 12 hours what it looks like. Um, love you Dior. Love you Influencer. Sorry that this review has not turned out very favorable for your your product description. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm gonna go. I'll see y'all in a little while. It is currently like three or four. Realizing now my plans got canceled that I had for today. So I'm still gonna test this lipstick. Um, but I'm just gonna be like around my house doing housework. Um, eat lunch, you know. Um, I already ate my breakfast, so I can't, like, test it with eating. I will be drinking my drink. Um, so we'll do the wear test. And I think I'm gonna give it, like, four hours, maybe. And then I'm gonna do another transfer test. I don't, I don't know. I didn't look up to see how long I should have really waited or if it takes a certain amount of time to dry down. Um, so yeah this has got on my leg okay so just letting you know it is very much watery so if you like do jiggle too much or something it will get like on you basically so just a fun thing gonna add on I'm gonna look crazy doing housework like this it's okay though it's for you guys, you know, so y'all can know if it really is 12 hour wear. Um, I'm not too crazy about like shaping it or anything right now. Cause like I said, I'm just staying in the house. Um, I did notice like, again, whenever I said, I think it's a lip stain, I, it definitely was a lip stain. Um, after I got done with my shower, I still had it kind of like on the sides, not necessarily the middle, but on the sides of my lips where it was just stained. 
So um, I did not notice that my lips felt any like drier or needed more moisture or anything like that. That's what I'm thinking that this like weird tacky thing is, is moisture, some kind of like protectant or whatever. And so, but I don't know, I didn't wear it for 12 hours. So I'm fixing to go live my life. I will come back here at 4 p.m. I'll give little updates throughout the day. My hair looks crazy because I took a shower. Um, so yeah, I will be back in a little while. So it's been over six hours. We're doing a little check-in. I've ate, drank some tea. So we've been wearing it for a while. It is still on my lips. You can see it did kind of smear it down. I've been doing housework. I've been sweating. You can see how oily I look. Um, some areas it like clings on more like you can see where it's a little bit darker red and then you can see where it's been lip staining um but it's been around like it's one now so i think four makes 12 hours so so nine ish hours so there still is a color it's not as vibrant as it was um there is still something there Oh gosh, let me take out the paper. Now, most of it is gone at this point. I was going to do like a little smudge test at the end, but it is still going. I don't I don't know transfer proof where. Um, I will say this. I did look it up. Um, I was supposed to shake it for five seconds last night. I definitely did that. Now, I don't know if I actually did that this morning. But essentially, I think this is like a combination of like what NYX is, how it has the color and the gloss on different sides. I think it's a combination of that together. And so you shake it well to mix it all up and make sure that it's all like coated equally. My lips don't feel dry, but I haven't necessarily taken them off. I actually am starting not to feel good. Not because of lipstick. I think I'm just starting to get sick. Been in extreme heat the past few weeks and just waking up early every day and all this other kind of stuff just wasn't vibing so um there's that but i have like three more hours i'm gonna take it off um we're gonna see what it looks like whenever i actually get a makeup wipe and try to remove it because like my lips are stained and you can see where it did kind of like smudge a little down i don't know i don't know i hate that the, like the thing that it's the three things that it's supposed to be is like transfer proof, smudge proof, 12 hours, two out of three so far. I mean, like it has stayed on. I still have color on my lips. It's not as vibrant, not as uh, shiny. And I think that I would need to retouch it. Now, I don't know if the 12 hours was with food because I did eat. I'll be honest. I did eat. Um, so yeah, I don't know how I quite feel about it. We have made it to the 12 hour mark. It is currently um, 4 p.m. So we went 4 a.m., 4 p.m. Now, we are still there. It still feels like a little bit oily or like whatever it is that there's like a gloss added into it. So it still has like that feeling residue that I have like a lipstick on. Let's see. I don't know if you can even slightly see the pink, but it does still transfer at this stage. Um, still some smudging. I just like, I hate that. I have some of my makeup remover. I'm going to try to just get it off. It feels like it's just a lip stain on my lips at this point, but let's see if anything actually comes off. Okay. There, there was a lot of color still left on that. I am actually quite surprised. Um, my lips don't feel dry, which is a plus because my biggest thing with red lipstick was how drying it was on my lips. Maybe it's something that needs to set in for a while of me not wearing it so I can know. But as of right now, I am not feeling anything. Um, So let's review it i do want to say this though for it while it was not smudge proof it was not transfer proof because i throughout the video have tested it because i thought maybe i was just doing something wrong 
Um, not it. Um, but I did do like housework and stuff today and I was sweating. I will say that it did not smudge from sweat. Me sweating intensely did not make my lipstick run, which is a very good plus. 100 degrees these past few weeks. I think this would be a good lipstick for sweaty, hot, you're in the heat. And before anybody goes, who would even be doing that? Honestly, whenever I was trying this out and I was seeing kind of how it was performing, I wish I would have had this in high school when I was on my dance team. We had to wear bright red lipstick and all the time we would have to keep retouching because we were sweating, it was hot. It would just like kind of melt in the sun and this didn't do that so I, I do want to give it this props that well I do not believe it's smudge or transfer proof it did hold up well with heat and sweat and activity so I think that that is a plus for this um I also want to say that I think that it was 12 hours I mean by the end I probably would have reapplied by the end of the 12 hours um but I ate in it I drank consistently throughout the day um, and it really, it didn't, it may have like came off a little bit, but like it stayed on my lips. It kind of stained onto my lips and it really, it didn't go anywhere throughout the day. So that was kind of neat. Um, I, if I had to rate it, it, it can only do really one of the three things that it promises to do. I found out about the other thing it does as a bonus. So let's give like a 2 out of 10 and that's based on my my experience with it my finances and stuff like this I started this saying this is a tank of gas this little lipstick is a tank of gas equivalent um, I would not personally buy this I will use it since I have it um, and it was gifted via influencer for a review like this but I would never buy it with my own money um it's it's too much it doesn't do all the things it says it does and i even like went to their website and like read their description of things the only extra thing that i found there was no like wait time like the accurate wait time it takes for it to dry down so maybe it wouldn't be transfer proof um it did say like shake for five seconds um but other than that like there just really wasn't a whole lot with this um I think it's a pretty color my lips don't feel like they've been destroyed from wearing it so that's always a plus just in my experience I don't feel like this was really worth m not my time but it would not be worth me paying for so I'm very thankful that it was gifted um but with that said that's the end of the review we'd had kind of a longer video um but it it's nice to just like finally sit down and review the influencer products that I've gotten recently. I do have another one up there that needs to be reviewed. And yeah, this was kind of a more slow laid back video. I thought it would be a different type of reviewing because I thought I was going to go somewhere and then I ended up being kind of sick. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new here. If you're not if you're new here, turn on the bell so you know about it every time I upload. And I will see y'all every Monday and Friday. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.